Hey everybody, today is Friday, September 16th, 2022, and we're here in my old stomping grounds, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, a place I spent 14 years of my life working, and the company I worked for, the sign for them is actually still here, the American Baptist Churches USA. 14 years of my life working for them, and honestly, if the job I had for them still existed, I would probably be still working there today. It was a great job. I was in charge of all the first class mail coming in and out of the building. If you ever seen in a movie that guy with a hand cart going through the office, delivering mail, picking up mail, then going back down to the mail room and putting mail into slots, that was my job. I was that guy from the movies. It was a fantastic job. I got paid pretty well to do very little. I miss that job. Kind of wish I still had that job. Unfortunately, the job no longer exists. The company just sort of went out of business. Won't get into it too much, but company went out of business. We were all laid off. So unfortunately, I could no longer work for them. Though for six months after that, I did work for another company in the building. And that is the Theodore Presser Company. They actually rented out some space in the building. And I worked for them. They were a sheet music company. And um, that job was amazing. This job not so much. I mean, the job in and of itself was kind of okay, but the company, Theater Presser Company, they were not a, they were not a good company to work for. I was I was not a fan of them. So worked there for six months. Quit that job. Honestly, quitting that job was kind of the best thing that ever happened to me because now I got to do YouTube full time, which is fantastic. But anyway, again, don't need to get into that. But 14 years of my life spent right here at the American Baptist Churches. It was a fantastic company to work for. A fantastic job. Like I said, I do actually miss that job and something pretty crazy is happening. I honestly wish I was doing these videos earlier. I always say like, I, I wish I started these videos like years ago so I could document, ha have documented more stuff, including what is going on right up here. As you can see, there's big piles of stuff. There's some construction going on behind me. And the reason for that is because something crazy has happened. Something that actually kind of breaks my heart because the building that used to sit here means a lot to me. My father actually used to work for the American Baptist Churches. He started there right when they first opened up, I believe back in the, I wanna say the 70s, maybe it was. He actually worked for them. He was there for a very, very long time, like almost right up until his, his passing, actually. He only was retired for maybe like a year. And then unfortunately he did pass away. So as a kid, I used to come out to this building all the time, visit my dad. I used to think the building was so cool. It was a really neat, interesting building in the shape of a circle. They actually called it the Holy Donut. I mean. It was in the shape of a circle. It was the American Baptist churches. So they called it the Holy Donut. I loved coming out here and visiting my dad. It seemed like such a cool place as a kid. The building was again, huge. They had a printing plant in there at, the, at, at, at that time. When I worked there, the printing plant was, was no longer there. But at the time when I visited my dad as a kid, there was a printing plant. So all these big rolls of paper and all this crazy stuff happening. It seemed like such an amazing, fantastic place. I believe actually um, it was it was designed by a very famous architect here in the Philadelphia area whose last name was Kling. I cannot remember his first name. If anybody wants to look that up and leave a comment down below, but his last name was Kling. I actually dated his granddaughter back in high school, which is kind of weird. Who knew that only a couple months after dating his, his granddaughter, I would end up working in a building he actually designed, kind of crazy. So when I actually graduated from college, I was in need of a job. I needed a job. I, I had just graduated. I had a degree in photography. My plan was to start a photography company, but until it happened, I needed some income. I needed to make some money. A part-time job wasn't going to cut it. I needed a full-time job. So my dad actually got me a job here working for the American Baptist churches. It started out for maybe like a year or so filling orders. So orders would come in for books and things like that. I would pack them up into boxes and then ship them out. And then there was this whole thing with a union that we used to work for where people got laid off and they took a bunch of uh, some of us that didn't get laid off and put us into um, other jobs of people who did get laid off. I don't know. I feel bad for the people who got laid off, but I ended up getting a nice cushy job out of it. So I was kind of okay with it. I wasn't working for a union anymore, but still it was, it was kind of nice to have a, have a nice cushy job working in the mail room and in charge of all the first class mail coming in and out of the building. I delivered mail. I picked up mail, went to the post office, got mail, took post, put, took mail to the post office. It was, again, it was a fantastic job. Really, really enjoyed it. Spent 14 years of my life doing that in a building that once sat right here up on this hill. So many times I've driven in and out of this parking lot. Again, 14 years of my life driving in and out of this, this driveway into the parking lot. It was just something I did for so long. And now it is turning into a top golf. That is what's going on here. They sold the land. The American Baptist churches used to actually own this land and they sold it to top golf. The building I used to work in is no longer here. The entire thing has been torn down a big, gigantic, this, this, 
This whole property here was a big, gigantic circle, like three-story circle building. It was awesome. It looked so cool. And now it is turning into a top golf, or I believe that's what this is. I was told it was a top golf. It definitely looks like a top golf. I'm 99.9% sure this is a top golf. So crazy, crazy to think that a place I spent 14 years of my life working, a place I spent like honestly 20 something, no, the, no 30 something years of my life coming out to because my, my father used to work here. So before I was even born, my dad was working here when I was a baby. I would come out to this place and visit my father as a kid. I would come out to this place and visit my father. And now it is turning into a, a top golf. That's, that's what we got going on here now. So crazy that the building is no longer here. Look at that. It is a big flat pile of dirt. Oh, sorry. Big flat pile of dirt now. Camera did not want to flip around there. So big flat pile of dirt. That is what's going on. Insane, kind of sad. I, I always I, I always said like um, losing that job. Again, I was laid off, unfortunately. I didn't get fired. I was just laid off because the, the job I was working no longer existed. What ended up happening was the American Baptist Churches was actually a bunch of Baptist organizations that all worked under one roof, under one company, under one name. They kind of really ended up not being able to get along and agree with each other over time, and they all disbanded. So I believe all those companies, or at least, if not all of them, most of them still do exist, but they exist in their own individual entities somewhere else now. They no longer exist under one roof, under the name, the American Baptist Churches. I'm not even sure if the American Baptist Churches is a thing anymore. It might be, it probably still is. I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but they don't work, again, under one roof together as a company, which means that the mailroom I worked for, the mailroom that served all those individual companies no longer was a thing. When they, when they, when they all disbanded, when they all went their separate ways, when they, when they said, okay, we're gonna sell the building, we're, we're gonna go, go our own way, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna be under one roof anymore, the mailroom, well, it was no, no longer needed. They no longer needed a mail service. So unfortunately me and some other people who worked in that area, we were all laid off. Just, again, it was a crazy time. So now look at this, the building, the land was sold off, the building torn down, and now it is turning into a top golf. That is just crazy. So anyway, like I was saying, I, I always um, equated like getting laid off to having a bad breakup because that's kind of what it felt like. You're, you're working this job every, every day, every Monday through Friday for 14 years, you would come to this job, you would you would go to this job, you would come into this building, you would drive to this building, you would go to this building, you would do your job, you saw your boss, you saw the people you worked with, you saw all the people within the building, you saw them every single day. It was the same thing every day from Monday through Friday for 14 years, and then all of a sudden, it's gone. It's like being in a long relationship. Let's say you've been in a relationship for like four years. You're dating somebody, you've dated them for four years, you're doing some construction over here as well. So you've been dating somebody for four years or whatever, and then you break up and it's just done. Like you no longer see that person. You, you've, you've been dating this girl or something like that or this boy or whatever and you've been dating them for, for so long and then all of a sudden, that's done. It's over with. You're no, longer, you're no longer seeing that person. You went from seeing them nearly every single day, if not every single day, to just not seeing them anymore. It was the same thing with a job. I worked there for so long, did it every single day and all of a sudden it was just gone. It, was, it wasn't there anymore. It was a crazy experience. It almost felt like a heart, heartache. It was, it was bizarre. It was weird. I didn't like it. Um, it kind of, it kind of stunk getting laid off from that job. But again, it is, it is what it is. That's the way things happen sometimes. So I used to work right here in a big three-story, gigantic round building that was sadly torn down and has now been turned into a top golf, or is turning into, I should say, a top golf. Look at this big retention pond. Look at that. That's crazy. That was, that wasn't here. This was a parking lot at one point. I'm trying to see, yes, look at this. You actually see where the, uh, where the road went into loading dock. So it was a big round building and then outside the building was kind of this like C-shaped one story building. And the one story building was like where, where I actually worked in. I didn't work in the big round part. I worked in the more C-shaped area, which is where they had uh, like loading docks and where they ship stuff out of and where they stored stuff and where the mail room was. And that was right, right along here, as you can see, this is where some of the loading docks went in. So all the all the big trucks would pull them right back back in here and deliver books and deliver paper and deliver all kinds of stuff. So some of the remnants of that is still here. It is just weird to see this. To so think of how many times I've walked along here, and now 
it's just, again, it's just a top golf now. To think that there's no longer the American Baptist Church is here, the Holy Donut is no longer here. It just, it looks weird. These buildings were here, the, like all these bu surrounding buildings, I believe they were actually owned by the American, like the land was owned by the American Baptist Churches as well. And they were like, were renting out space or something like that. I could have that wrong, but I believe that was the case. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they, they sold it to somebody else. Maybe Topgolf owns the land now and they're still renting. I believe it's something in the contract, like where no matter what happened, whether the American Baptist Churches were here or not, somehow in the contract, they would always have these buildings. Like they would always be able to rent here for like a hundred years or something like that. I was, I was, I was told. So apparently these companies, I think G, GE used to be in here. I'm not sure if this is still General Electric or not. They used to be in there, but I believe all these companies can still stay here due to some contract they signed. So I don't know who owns this land. I have no idea. This land is worth a ton of money. This area is very, very, very popular to build in. So again, I don't know who owns the land for these anymore, but all these buildings are still here. that are now going to be looking out over a top golf instead of looking out over the American Baptist churches. So anyway, just crazy that I spent so many years of my life, 14 years of my life working here, going in and out of the building that was once here, delivering mail to all the people inside this building, spending so many hours of my life inside this building, probably half my life at that point for those 14 years was spent inside this building. And now it's not even there anymore. Now it's a big pile of dirt with a top golf being built. There's just one last thing I want to go see. So, you know, again, there used to be a parking lot right here. We would park in, park in this parking lot. There was a little back door we would go into. There was a special door for like the, the mailroom area. We had a key card, we'd swipe it. We'd go in through the back door. That was right over here. And I believe right over here, I think it was this one. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember now. Maybe it wasn't this, maybe it wasn't, it wasn't here. It might've been over here yet. I'm trying to think of where the loading dock, the main loading dock that we used to use all the time was. It was either right here or over here. We're gonna see if there's any uh, sign of that. Yeah, okay, yes, it was over here. Over here was sort of the main loading dock for where I used to work in the area I used to work in. This is where all the trucks would come in and out of. We had these big shipments that would come in, these big shipments that would come out. And they would go right into the loading docks that used to be right here that are no longer there. Right here was kind of like the, like, sort of like a little main office where you'd check in. And then I'd work in a building that was right, right here. Crazy, so many times coming in and out of the doors that were connected to these loading docks. So many times loading my car from these loading docks, loading, loading stuff I had to take to the post office. And now, now they're doing construction. I used to park in here every now and then. If it was a really warm day or if it was very rainy. I used to, I used to park in there. We weren't supposed to, they, they, they literally told us do not park inside here. We do not, you know, we might own the land or whatever, but we, we don't, you know, this isn't our parking structure. This is for General Electric or whoever's in there now. You cannot park here. I mean, we would do it anyway. We, we, would, we would just park in there. So lots of times I'd park in this parking structure. Anyway, guys, crazy. Look at all the, the metal pipes. I believe those pipes are probably from the old American Baptist churches. There's all this concrete and whatnot as well. I sort I mean, I, I, I kind of want to grow up and take a piece of the concrete and just, you know, have a, have a piece of, of memory. Actually, I kind of kicked myself for not coming out here when they were tearing this all down and maybe taking a brick or something like that or, or something, just, just a brick. I, again, 14 years of my life working here, the place meant so much to me. So yeah, I could have had, had a brick from the place. I don't know. I should have done that. Also kind of wish again, I was doing these videos earlier so I could have shown you guys them actually tearing it down because I did drive out here a couple of times and I parked over here and watched them with wrecking balls and with, with big with big equipment like that, big Caterpillar equipment, tearing the entire place down. It was a crazy thing to see. People who I used to work with, they were also coming out here. They were taking photos. I was, I was watch, or looking at photos online of the, uh, the progress of the building being torn down. Crazy. So, all right, guys, just want to come out here, document this, show you guys that the building no longer exists. It's now turning into a top golf tell you guys about my time working for the American Baptist Churches. Again, great company, really enjoyed working for them. It was a fantastic job. Like I said, even though I'm, I'm doing YouTube full time, the job would have allowed me to do YouTube and work the job because it was, it was a pretty, it was a pretty easy, it was a pretty easy job. I will fully admit the job really didn't take a whole lot of effort. I got paid very well, like I said, to do very little. It was great. I would still be there to this day if I could. If the American Baptist Churches was still a thing and that job still existed, I would absolutely still be working it. Had great benefits, great benefits, great pay, 
I didn't have to do that much. It was fantastic. I really miss working for them. And I really miss the building as well. I wish we could still see the building. I wish we could visit the building. I wish we would have kept the building. It was, again, it was really unique. The fact that it was a round building, it had a circle in the middle. I literally told people, when people would say, what do you do for a living? I'd say, oh, I work in circles all day. Or I walk, I walk in circles all day. That's what I do for a living. And the reason for that is because I literally did walk in circles all day delivering mail. I would go from first floor, walk in a circle, elevated up, second floor, walk in a circle, third floor, walk in a circle, back down to the mail room. That's what I would do. I'd walk in circles all day long delivering mail. And it was a great job. Like I said, guys, now the building is no longer here. It is now turning into a top golf. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Just wanted to come out here, do some reminiscing, see the progress of what's going on. Crazy, I think that it's gonna be a top golf now. So, all right, guys, if you guys worked a job for a long time, what was the longest time? I think 14 years is a pretty long time to work a job. So what was the longest you guys have ever worked a job? What is the longest job you ever worked for? What, what, what did you do when you worked at that job? And how long were you there? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear how long you, uh, how long you were at that job. So. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon. If you become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can get yourself a What's With Dave Today t-shirt, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do go to help putting gas inside Vanabelle and inside Pumpkin so we can come out to fun, interesting places and I can reminisce about buildings that sadly are no longer here. Anyway, guys, again, that is it. So thanks for watching. Get hit all the like buttons and the subscribe buttons and the notification bell. And if you are subscribed, and if you do subscribe, I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.